watching Let's Chat. A woman of many talents. <laughs> Let me repeat that. A woman of many talents. Thank you. That's I had nice. no idea, Andy Santoro, that you were such a uh, cookie queen. Cookie queen. I like that. The cookie queen. Yeah. Um, this is, and you used to do this regularly like you had a business doing cookies. I right? did. I had a little business and it was pretty successful but in addition to just destroying the kitchen with flour <laughs> and frosting on the refrigerator my husband said it was like Fantasia taking place in the kitchen <laughs> and then the sore my wrist got sore squeezing right. out the icing and I just kind of took a break. You know a lot of people <laughs> and um, uh, <laughs> believe me, my wife has a lot of knowledge of the cookie business. A lot of people think, that's eh, no big deal. You put in some of this, put in some of that, whip it up, throw it in, bring it out of the oven, and you have a cookie. Farthest thing from the truth, right? Exactly. So they say you can either be a baker or like you can cook. Right. Cooking, you can eye things. You can say a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But with cutout cookies, mm -hmm. you literally have to weigh your flour. You have to weigh your sugar. Everything is so exact. Even measuring, there's a little measure on this rolling pin, so everything is perfectly, you know, even. All right. I like to cook, as you well know, but I'm kind of lost when you said everything has to be measured. Why? What's the what's the end result in measuring things out as opposed to eyeballing or using a measuring cup? I'm sure there's a scientific reason in the baking process, but I know with cutout cookies, the edges are very sharp and defined mm -hmm. and very precise. Right. And same with the frosting, you have that smooth top layer. I think it's just a very exact cookie, wow. almost like a work of art. And they take forever to make and, you know. I, I can tell. Um, I want to tilt this up a little bit. Hopefully they won't go sliding off and, and let the folks at Five home see roll. how much detail is involved in these. And there is a lot. What are the little um, white thingies on top of the cookies Just here? Just little candy pearls. Uh, Pinterest is a big, uh, I use Pinterest a lot. So I, I looked up royal icing cutout cookies shaped like hearts. And this is just one of the examples on Pinterest. While the frosting was still wet, I just pressed in these little sugar pearls. They're not real pearls. But I'll tell you, they look like they are identically spaced apart. And that's not an easy thing to do. It's an art. I mean, I, I feel like it's a very precise uh, mm -hmm hobby right and that also adds into why it can be very exhausting so you use a digital scale like that's this right, right? Uh, we're going to weigh something just because it's fun and that's gel frosting that's another thing you have to use gel i mean gel food coloring mm -hmm. it, it it makes a richer color than perhaps the little liquid look at that does it really and so this weighs i don't have my glasses on but <laughs> you can ballpark this this weighs um well it weighs that amount down here i had no idea that there was so much precision in doing cookies like this. Yes, it's it's a it's really you can't be off by a tenth of an ounce even. What happens if you are? I don't know. I, I don't want to find. I would imagine the cookies might spread. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to use unsalted butter and add salt, so maybe there's a chemical reaction. But with yeah. that and the baking powder, I don't know. But I haven't maybe tried. So. And of course, like with any other yes. thing involved in the kitchen, you got to have the proper tools. That's right. And this is a heavy duty KitchenAid mixer I've had for 20 years and it still is kicking. And I know they're still a very popular wedding registry sure. staple. How long were you doing the cookie thing? I know you still make them for your family and friends, sure. but how long, how far back? When you started doing this? I started in about 2017. I was just watching Instagram videos and then I went over to YouTube and I was like, wow, that looks really easy. My first was a basketball cookies for my husband who's a Tar Heel fan. Right. So everyone loved them and then it just, you know, I did it for about a year. Wow. Well, <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> our show, so we're going to have you back and we're going to go into more on, on the cookie thing. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, what what's your second favorite thing to bake other than cookies? I like brownies, fudge, brownies. chocolate stuff. What about you? Oh, what's your I favorite sweet all. treat? I love it all. Jamaica's going wrap wrap, oh, which means we got to get out of here. How do they taste? That's the important thing. Please. Pick one out for me and I'm going to try it during the... Uh, this I'll try one, during the a break. lip. The lip. Yes. You got it. All right. Do the toss to the break. I'm gonna Here go we go. You need. want to stay tuned for this show. Thanks for watching. Let's chat. We have some great stuff coming up for you. Good stuff. Is it? <laughs>